Ever since Microsoft launched Windows 7 on October 22nd, there's been a lot of discussion about the best way to install the new operating system. I'm here with Meredith of TuneUp to discuss the differences between uh, what they call performing a clean install versus an upgrade, and which is the best option and why. So, Meredith, thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. My pleasure. Before we get uh, to which method you recommend, can you describe the differences between each so our listeners understand uh, the difference? Yeah, absolutely. Um, with a clean install, you have to first save your files, then wipe your hard disk and install Windows 7 on an empty hard disk. Then reinstall all your programs and set it up just the way you want it. But with an upgrade, you have to insert the Windows 7 disk and just let it automatically update your running Vista system, keeping all of your files and settings. However, if you're using Windows XP, you're out of luck because Microsoft does not allow the in-place upgrade to Windows 7. So you're saying that if, if you're on a Windows XP machine, you have to do a clean install? Yeah, that's the only way. And it's actually how I'd recommend switching to Windows 7 no matter what operating system you're migrating from. Oh, that's interesting. Why? Well, as the name indicates, a clean install is the cleanest option. It just prevents any old garbage from ruining your new Windows 7 installation. There's no doubt that the upgrade install proved to be the most hassle-free solution. I mean, you just have to pop in the disk and let it do its thing, which is very convenient. Um, however, upgrading will actually leave junk on your PC, like orphan Vista files or temporary files, that aren't of use to Windows 7 and just slow it down. By wiping your hard disk and st starting fresh with the clean install, you leave behind all of the unnecessary data and junk from the older operating system. And when we tested out the difference, we found that the clean install Windows 7 only takes about half the time to boot up and perform 10 to 30 percent faster than the Vista or the 7 upgrade. Wow, 30 percent faster? That I can imagine makes a big difference if you get frustrated with slow response times or laggy applications and long startup times like I do. Yeah, absolutely. Specifically in these tests, what we found was that it took over two minutes to boot up your PC using the original Vista Home Premium system, 23 seconds less using an upgrade install of Windows 7, and 53 seconds less using a clean install of Windows 7. That's a 30 second difference between the upgrade and clean install of Windows 7. Was that only evident in boot up times, or did you see significant differences in other tests that you ran? Yeah, good question. It was definitely clear in other tests as well. The clean install provides much faster response times. In shutting down your PC, the clean install performed nearly 20% faster than the upgrade install and almost 50% faster than Vista. Also, when measuring application performance, the clean install took 27% less time when starting Outlook and 33% less time when opening Internet Explorer than the upgrade. Also, when we looked at the processor performance, the Windows 7 upgrade took over a minute longer than the clean install to compress an approximately 11 gigabyte file into a zip file. That's some great data. So if I understand you correctly, it sounds like if you want to move to a Windows 7, clean install is certainly the better, more efficient choice. Absolutely. We strongly recommend the clean install of Windows 7 to achieve optimum performance and results. Thank you, Meredith. This has been great. I really appreciate your time today, and, and I think our listeners will get real value from this conversation. Well, thanks, Eric, for having me, and if anybody's interested in more information, you can find this and much more on our blog at blog.tune-up.com.